Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you from the east side of the Oregon Cascades. We've got the three sisters behind me. One, two, hey! excuse me, three, right there. Took a motorcycle ride up to uh, Jefferson Wilderness and then over to Sisters today. It was kind of an in-between kind of a day, not too cold, not too hot, kind of dry. Discovered a dirt road uh, heading uh, south by southwest outside of uh, actual sisters that I'm paused on. No one's around. Saw a couple cars coming out of here a couple miles ago. Don't know when I'm going to play. Just attempting another tune tour video on the fly. Improvised location. Beautiful location though. I hope you can all see it. It's really quite uh, quite impressive. Quite impressive all these mountains. Is it going to follow me? I don't know if it's going to follow me. I have to outline my face with the selfie camera and then it'll follow me. So yeah, I think that might be Bachelor right there. So maybe that's Bachelor and those are the three sisters. Not 100% sure. Get your map out. Um, but um, yeah, uh, nice ride. I stopped up at Hoodoo Skier where I've been a few times with my sons. Beautiful. But the bugs started going after me, mosquitoes. Within five minutes, I was covered in them. This is a lower elevation on the east side of the mountains. And I don't think there's as much water around, so there's not as many uh, mosquitoes. Um, bike's working well. Going nice and easy. I'm going to try to get this tuned for you. And I don't even know when I'm going to play. Um, <laughs> it's heck to be uh, the producer, the, the driver, the cantina people and the musician and the whole thing and sort it all out so uh, but these mountains are darn inspiring I don't know if you can get a feel for it here with the wide angle limbs looking at me but those mountains and the light on them it's about 4 30 in the afternoon are just phenomenal um, what, what about something like um, I don't know
survives Misty. That goes out to my country. Uh, that's having a hard time. I've been crying for it. I think a lot of people are crying for our country right now, folks. So we need to uh, adjust ourselves, it seems to me, and take care of some business we just never took care of. We leave too many babies' brains on the table. Human development is the most precious thing we have, and we have not taken it very seriously. By the way, California, I think our world's fifth or seventh largest economy, has invented recently a new position called the Surgeon General of California. Very, very smart, beautiful African-American female doctor did a, uh, took that position and did a bunch of research. And all of the bad outcomes in this country on a personal level, prison, homelessness, you know, diabetes, maybe even, uh, you know, uh, degenerative uh, conditions, et cetera, et cetera, have one place in common according to this woman's research and i'm praying that she's able to make headway in california and that uh that commonality is childhood trauma childhood trauma messes people up i could have told you that a long time ago i've had my own issues with childhood trauma identity etc cetera, etc cetera. um so my two cents worth today goes like this. Take care of and be kind and be responsible and be conscious, particularly to the children. They need our love. They need our support. They need our education. They need our guidance. And they need our set of boundaries, healthy boundaries. That's how you teach them how to have healthy boundaries. Uh, I love Mother Nature. And I think human babies are the closest thing we ever get to Mother Nature and uh, being part of Mother Nature, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, this is getting a little long-winded, but I appreciate you all listening. Uh, this goes out to my two sons, Nate and Andrew, across the country. And I'm praying that we all are uh, being safe and cautious while protesting, stating our opinions, and uh, praying for positive change for the community, the collective. We're called Americans. Love you. Be well. Be safe. Be smart. Bye-bye.